All right, to sign up for a Google Voice account, you're going to navigate to voice.google.com, voice.google.com, and then it's going to ask you to log in with your Google account, and you can use your school account or your personal one. It really doesn't matter. But when you do, when you get here, um, either this little box is going to pop up for you to choose a number, or you click over here to get a voice number. Okay, and what you're going to want to tell it is, I want a new number. Don't use your mobile number. Otherwise, you're going to be texting people with your mobile number, and that's not what you want anyway, obviously. All right, or otherwise, you could just use your phone to text people. All right, so I'm going to click on, I want a new number, and you're going to type in your, um, you have to add a forwarding phone, okay? It won't let you do this unless you add a forwarding phone. So now you have to add your mobile phone number. Okay, so it's going to link it to your mobile number, but you can change your settings so that it nothing will ever come to your mobile phone. Okay, so you type in your num mobile number here. All right, and you have to, it has to be a mobile number. Don't give it a landline. So change it to mobile and then click continue. And then it's going to call you at that number. And then when it calls you, you have to enter this number below and the verification code so it knows that you're, it, you're verifying it. So it'll call you now. And you answer it. And then you, and then you enter that code. And then you can hang up. All right. So now um, you're going to search for a Google Voice number. All right. So easiest way to do this, I want, you know, I wanted to have an 830 number so people recognize it, you know, as something local. So you type in an area code here and click search and it'll start pulling up numbers and it doesn't matter that they're in del rio because nobody cares it is an 830 number so you can you can either keep clicking through here till you find a number you like or you can just pick one i'll pick this one and you don't have to write it down because it's going to show up over here later let's see click that and click continue and it's adding you as your google voice number now you successfully set up google voice here's your google voice number and then you don't have to write that down or anything. You can just click finish. All right. Now we're, we're ready to go. Okay, this is the Google Voice interface right here. Um, and I'll warn you right now, Google is in the middle of changing their interface completely. One of my accounts has the new interface, and this one doesn't. And I don't know why, but at some point in the near future, they're all going to change to the new interface. So I'll show you that one in a minute. Anyway, once you first sign up, you got your number now. This is what it looks like. And it's going to give you this message that you can receive voicemail and hangouts and, 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 and SMS messages. And I do that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So you just click, OK, got it. So here you are. This is where your messages show up. Here's your Google Voice number right here. OK, so when you text somebody, that's where it's going to show up. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is go over here to your settings where the little gear is. All right, and it says phones, and it's going to want to forward things to your mobile number. Uncheck that. You don't want any calls or anything going to that mobile number because you just want to be able to text people from this computer web interface. Okay, so uncheck that one. All right, let's see if there's any other settings you need to change. No. Nope. You can record uh, a voicemail. I'm not worried about that because I'm only texting people. All right. Uh, I believe that's all we need to do. So if you uncheck this here, then you won't get any calls or any text on your phone. If you leave that checked, you could get a call from this number onto your phone. Or you could get text from this number on your phone. You don't want that, so please uncheck that. Okay. Um once you're done with that you can go back to the inbox all right and this is where your text messages are going to show up and then this is just a welcome from google voice you don't even need that so you can select it and delete it all right so let's say 
now you want to text a parent so you go into teams and you get their phone number all right I just copy it and then you click on text send a new message you paste their number here or type in the number that you want to send it to all right and you text your message here and I usually do something like I address them like Mrs. Smith I'm Max Brandenburger Jerry's teacher and I want you to know today that Jerry did blah 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 and type your message okay so um, I'm always professional like that I always unless I have been texting them I let them know who I am and who's which teacher I am and tell them what I need to tell them okay um, Okay, and then you type the message and then you click send. All right, and in just a minute, it'll go through. Um, I sent it to my phone, so it should show up here in about two seconds. There it is. All right, and then I'm Mrs. Smith now, and I can reply to the message. And I'm going to say on my phone here, thank you for letting me know. All right, and then now I just sent that text message. And it's going to pop back up here in a minute to know that Mrs. Smith replied to me. Anyway, so um, that's that's the easy part of it. Okay, and, and once they reply to you, it's going to be up here into your inbox, and you can copy the whole thing and paste it into Eduphoria as a record of your parent contact, so that administrators will know that you've been contacting parents, and they'll be able to see um, see what you've been doing. Okay, then now that I have responded to that text, or Mrs. Smith has responded, it shows up here in your inbox. And it says, thank you for letting me know. So that's what Mrs. Smith said. All right, now, if you want to respond to her again, or if y'all are kind of having a little text conversation, you can click on the text box right here, and you can type in a response, and then they'll keep popping up right here in this little conversation, okay? Um, you can, oh, that doesn't really affect you. See this little add right here? You can click on that, and you can add this person's number to your bookmarks, I mean not your bookmarks, your um, your contacts. So the next time you need to text Mrs. Smith, you can just type in Mrs. Smith and it'll pull up her number. Okay. Um, it says right here, make calls from Android or text from Android. If you have an Android phone, you can download Google Voice. And you can use this on your phone separately from your normal phone number and text. Okay, and I'll warn you if you do that, it will switch you over to the new interface. Okay, if Google plays a cruel joke on me today and every one of you that tries to sign up for this gets the new interface, this is what the new interface will look like. And once you get here, it'll have a pop up balloon that says something about, hey, why don't you choose a new Google Voice number? And then you have to go through the same procedure that I showed you earlier in the video. It'll just be in this new interface right here. Okay. Anyway, once you're here, the settings are in this little set of buttons over here. Click on that and go to settings. All right. And then to unlink your phone like I showed you how to do earlier you go right here where it says messages and make sure this box to your mobile number is unchecked okay and then calls also make sure that is unchecked so none of this goes to your mobile number once you've unchecked those that's all you really have to worry about and you can come back over here click on the messages balloon okay and to send a message you type in and you click on that and you type in the number okay so let's type in a number all right and you're gonna send a message to that number you type your message down here
All right, and then to click send, you click over here to this little arrow send message. The nice thing about this little interface, it looks like it doesn't limit you to 160 characters like the other one did. Okay, click send message, and it'll send it. All right, once you've sent a message to a number, um, come over here, and uh, you can pull down on this more options, and you can click on people and options, and you can... Um, then add these people to your contacts. So the first time you text a parent, then you can um, add them to your contact list so you, you can text them again real easily. And that is basically it. Now you know how to use Google Voice to text parents from your computer without having to um, use your own mobile number.